This is Andre Banks with Banks Credit Chat. My brother's not here on this particular video, but I'm going to just kind of spearhead it a little bit and talk about two of the most popular platforms for people to do debt management programs. And that is Freedom Debt Relief and Money Management International. Now, full disclosure, I actually work for Money Management, Money Management International as a certified credit counselor for close to five years. Now, Money Management International really consolidated everything and became the, one of the largest nonprofit credit counseling agencies. And this was done back in maybe 2017, 2018, when they, they took over Clearpoint Credit Counseling. So I'm not speaking just from uh, a person who's layman and just has experience doing this. I've actually worked in the industry itself. I even have some certifications here from National Federal Credit Counseling, uh, Andre Banks you see here, uh, Consumer Data Industry Association, Terrence Banks from Fair Credit Reporting Act certification. Um, it's not really putting that much. And usually I don't like to talk about credentials, but it's just, it's something that's important because I'm not just talking just as someone just giving you information. The reason why I'm doing this video is because these two in, in, these two agencies and in industries, um, not industries, that's not the right word. These two agencies are just really popular. And, and if you're going to make a decision about what you should do, if you especially find yourself in a situation where you, you're having a difficult time managing your credit cards, you're going to think of either one of these two agencies to call. First, Freedom Debt Relief. Freedom Debt Relief is, is popular and I've done, a, <laughs> I've just had so much experience dealing with clients who were not aware of a lot of their particular policies. And when I say this is because it's not to just point a, a negative aspect for it. It's just to show that people are not, just not aware. One of the things that they do is that Freedom Debt Relief was well known for offering debt settlements and not sure if they've changed their practice in the last year, just giving them, just to give full disclosure about that. I'm not sure about that, but that was the main going basis of how they did business going uh, for a number of years. And what the debt settlement aspect is, is essentially trying to get the, the particular lender who lent you money, whether it be a credit card or such, to take less. Now, the problem with that is that they can say no. And a lot of times, a lot of individuals who were not aware of that, they would sign the paperwork with Freedom Debt Relief. And come to find out that they nothing was being paid because they promised them that this was going to be taken care of by their particular company and the lenders are going to definitely work with them lo and behold is wreaking havoc on their credit reports because they're not making a payment and then they came to find out that some of the creditors were not willing to work with them and then once the creditor does not work with you you're still responsible for that debt and they can still consider the collection aspects going forward now, that's just something to be aware of because a lot of times when someone, a lot of these companies are advertising, they're advertising they can fix your solution 24 to 60 months is a great selling point. But the devil's in the details. And especially with Freedom Debt Relief, you need to be mindful that if their main platform is a debt settlement, there's the ramifications that go along with that. One, that let's just say the company does settle the debt. They will send you a 1099 saying that the portion of the amount of debt that they settle, you have to add that to your income. And so that might, depending on your tax bracket, increase your income. And you're not even aware of that because it's not really earned income that you actually did. You just was able to ask the creditor to take less and settle for less. But that's how always the rules are made for the banks and a lot of lenders. And that's why they have that little loophole that they really don't disclose enough because no one's really thinking about that. They're just looking at hey, they offered me a program that allowed me to consolidate my debt and, or in this case for Freedom Debt Relief is debt, a debt settlement. And that sounded like the best viable option. When in turn, if you were already making payments, you could have called them yourself and saved a little bit of that trouble and see if they were willing to work with you on your own instead of going with the company and signing this paperwork and functioning from that space and not come to find out that some of those credits were not actually going to be uh, viable in their particular plan. Again, not sure if this is still going on, but that since 2018, 19, that was still their particular mode of option. In 2020, maybe a little bit different, but I just wanted to put out that warning for you for a freedom debt relief. Their main option is for a debt settlement, and that typically is not always the best option going forward because, again, the creditor could come back in a couple of different ways. I just mentioned one about the not accepting the debt 
Um, they can also sell the debt to someone else. And then another, you know, you still have that on your credit report. And it really, you're hoping to fix the problem by paying less, but you also want to improve your credit over the long run as well. So that's the reason why I'm, you just need to be aware of that, especially going forward in the new economic climate that we find ourselves in 2020. The next one is Money Manager International, which I just mentioned earlier that they were taking uh, Clearpoint Credit Counseling merged with them. They were the second largest and they became Money International, which makes them the largest nonprofit debt credit counseling agency out there. As a whole, I can't say that their practices weren't a viable option. The problem with them is that their tactics at times, even though they have the nonprofit umbrella, they incentivize their employees by getting individuals on a debt management program. Money management once Money Manager International took over Clearpoint Credit Council, a lot of the services that were just here to educate the consumer was then pushed away to the side. As a credit student loan counsel, we would actually spend time with the consumer, talking to them about the different options, letting them know, even doing presentations at different areas. That particular banner was not, it's just not even viable for the company. So. Everything was done over the phone, no more face-to-face, -face. very rarely did they come in that point. And their, their whole method of methodology is to get you on that debt manager program. And they made that a focal point and it was it, it moved away from being for just the consumer of really looking at all the best options, just kind of getting them on the debt manager program. If they're not, then let's go to the next person. And it's more of a sales aspect, even though they're not stating that, they're saying they're going to educate you on that process, but the, really the focal point is to get you on the debt manager program. And how their debt manager program, because they have long-standing relationship with the banks, the banks incentivize them to, uh, with back-end funding, where they would receive a certain amount of capital from the banks if the person gets on the particular program. And, the, and a lot of the creditors, well, especially credit cards, will gladly work with uh, Money Manager International because of the long-standing relationship, and they get these, they still get. They may not get the exact interest that they were before, but they're getting a less interest, still making a solvent and getting paid over time. Not a bad option for you if you're, you know, if you, you can consolidate it and, and again, it will have an impact in credit because you're closing out all that credit cards, but over the long term, you're paying off the debt in its entirety. So that why, that's why it, it could be a better, buy, a better option for you than the Freedom Debt Relief. I might have made this video a lot long, a little bit long-winded, but I wanted to cover everything I think I can end between these two particular companies. If I had to make a choice, I would tell you to go with Money Manager International instead of Freedom Debt Relief because of the debt settlement option that kind of was the platform for Freedom Debt Relief. Money Manager International does have a debt consolidation which consolidates the debt into one payment at a lower interest rate. And over time, you pay that debt. It's completely paying that debt 100% of that debt off. With Freedom Debt Relief, again, I can't stress enough about debt settlements and the danger where you're asking a company to take less and they can say no. The 1099 issue that goes before, if they do agree to settle on the debt, they will send you a 1099 stating that, that the amount of debt that they settle for, um, you now we're now responsible for that for that interest portion and add that to your income for taxes with so many people being unemployed it may not be an issue with you right now but over over the long term it very well can be and with credit being such a everything that we do in our society is still is predicated on and, and most economies functional credit you want to make the best option for you credit wise going forward so kind of wrapping this up and kind of highlighting and Highlighting a couple of talking points here is that Freedom Debt Release focus on the debt settlement program when they try to focus, uh, get the creditor to take less. Money Manager National functions on a debt manager program when it consolidates into one payment and you pay off the debt in its entirety. Money Manager International has strong sales tactics, even though it's a nonprofit credit counseling agency. That's what you have to be aware of. And as a whole, I would still say Money Manager National would be better for you than a Freedom Debt Relief because of just the debt settlement option. So you make your choice. Just want to provide you as, provide you as much information as possible. 
If this video has been any value to you, please subscribe, leave some comments. Hit the like button if you like the information that's being said. And until our next video for Banks Credit Check, we're out.